Hi everybody, my name is David and this is the Cartoon Fortress YouTube channel where we talk film and film collecting. I am very excited to bring you this video today because we are going to be diving into a bunch of titles from the Criterion Collection. These are titles that I picked up from their very recent Criterion 24 hour flash sale. So Criterion a couple of times per year will have a 24 hour sale where they have uh, in stock titles marked down by 50%. Um, I'm very fortunate to uh, been able to have picked up as many titles as I did. I uh, usually with Criterion um, in terms of direct orders on their site, I've only ordered direct from them two or three times, and I'm trying to move towards uh, supporting labels more directly rather than going through other means like Amazon. Um, a lot of the labels that I purchase from, I do purchase direct. Uh, Criterion, for whatever reason, I've only done that, um, like I said, two or three times, um, but definitely looking forward to doing that more. So this is definitely the biggest order that I've placed uh, direct through them, and I'm excited to go over these titles with you. So we will go ahead and jump into that right now. Uh, the first title up is from Joyce Chopra, and uh, this is one of the titles that I'm looking forward to most uh, for this sale. I've heard amazing things about this film, and this is a very new release from Criterion, and this is from 1985. Uh, this is Smooth Talk with Laura Dern. And I'm looking forward to exploring some of uh, the, or one of the earlier performances from Laura Dern. I've always been a really big fan, and uh, yeah, really looking forward to watching this. I've heard nothing but good things, and I've also heard uh, amazing things about the uh, supplements on this disc. So we do get a new 4K digital transfer and then I will show you here, you can pause if you want, but this is just absolutely packed and I've heard that the supplements really uh, help to make this uh, the release that it is. So I'm definitely looking forward to jumping into that. Um, so Smooth Talk from 1985. Next up, we have a very recent film. This is from 2018, um, and I actually watched this on Hulu, and I was very, very impressed. Uh, this is a film by Bing Lu. This is Minding the Gap. Um, so 2018 with a runtime of 93 minutes, um, and again, a lot of great extra features here. Um, this is a really stunning piece of uh, documentary work by, uh, by Bing Lu and is a very human piece, uh, explores relationships and kind of the harsh realities of real life and I was really, really uh, entranced by, by this film and I cannot wait uh, to check out the Criterion edition. So Minding the Gap by Bing Lu. Next up, we have a comedy classic that I'm really embarrassed to say that I've never seen. Um, I've seen a lot of other films like it, but I've never seen uh, really one of the uh, one of the main, I guess, comedies of the 1940s and and uh, one of the greatest comedies ever made. And this is uh, from Howard Hawks. This is with uh, Cary Grant and Rosalind Russell. Uh, this is His Girl Friday. And the cool thing on this, so not only does it feature a new 4K digital restoration, but it also ships um, with, the, uh, with the film, the front page as well. So this is actually a double feature that you're getting with this release. And yeah, so His Girl Friday is from 1940 and is 92 minutes. And then we have the front page uh, from 1931, and that is 101 minutes. Um, so I, I, this is one of those ones that I've had my eye on adding to the collection for so many different sales, and I finally just pulled the trigger on it, and I could not be happier to have it. And it looks like there's a nice uh, big booklet in here as well, um, as well as some great extra features. There you go. and I. Failed to show you the extra features on Mining the Gap. 
So there you go on that. Um, so His Girl Friday and the front page. Really awesome release. Uh, next up, we have a film from 1971. Uh, this is Alan J. Uh, Pakula. In fact, he did the next two films we're going to be looking at here. And this is uh, with Jane Fonda and Donald Sutherland. And this is Clute. And uh, so this is part of kind of a, a trilogy of films. So I'll show you the next one here uh, that we have. This is with Warren Beatty, and this is the Parallax View. Um, so these are part of a, a kind of trilogy of films. Uh, the other one I have over here on the shelf is the uh, Digibook for All the President's Men. Um, so together they make the, uh, I think it's what they call the, the Paranoia Trilogy. Um, uh, political thriller type films and I've not seen either of these two all the president's men I've seen several several times and I love that film um, so I'm really looking forward to jumping into these uh, so Clute yeah 1971 114 minutes and there are the extras on that one and yeah great cover art on this one as well and with the parallax view 1974, and that's 102 minutes. Really cool new uh, design on the cover there. And there are the supplements. And I've actually added um, quite a few, uh, or there's at least a couple other films from the 1970s that I've added as well that I'm excited about. Um, next up, we have... Uh, from none other than Wes Anderson, who has a really great relationship with Criterion. I actually filled in the gap, uh, my Wes Anderson gap in my collection with this sale. Uh, so first up, I was trying to see if I had the other one close by, but it looks like it's further in on the pile. Uh, this is from 2001, uh, runtime of 110 minutes, and this is The Royal Tenenbaums. Right, there is the extra features on that. I've seen this film one time before and I wasn't completely taken by it, um, but that was a, quite a while ago and it was very early on in my uh, watching of uh, Wes, Anderson, uh, Wes Anderson's filmography. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this. I feel like I have a much firmer grasp on his work and uh, kind of what to expect and I've actually become a really big fan um, of his work so I think I'll have probably a really different experience with this uh, on a second view um, but excited to have the Royal Tenenbaums next up I have no idea why this uh, isn't in my collection yet uh, well before this point um, but this is by uh, uh, Carl Theodore Dreyer uh, this is the Passion of Joan of Arc. This is from 1928 with a runtime of 81 minutes. And not once have I heard a negative review of this film. So this is one that I knew was inevitable um, in terms of being added to my collection, but it was definitely, definitely the time uh, to do that now. And then here is a look at the back. So you can see a nice amount of features there and uh, this is oh I wanted to say it was with the uh, UCLA film archive but I don't see that um, anyways uh, yeah really really excited to have uh, the passion of Joan of Arc um, I will be watching this one really really soon all right next up uh, we have a 1980s uh, film. This is from 1985, so our second film from 1985. Um, and I've, I've had my eye on this one as well for quite a while. This is directed by Albert Brooks, and this is Lost in America. Um, so this has uh, Albert Brooks and co-stars uh, Julie Haggerty, who I'm, I'm a fan of. I, I haven't seen her in too many films, but I... I loved her in uh, What About Bob, and uh, she was in Marriage Story recently. Um, but she's she's really funny, and I'm excited to see what she brings to 
uh, this production. And obviously, um, uh, Albert Brooks is really funny. And uh, so I think I'm in for a, uh, for a real treat here with Lost in America. All right, and there is the director approved uh, Blu-ray special edition features. Um, next up, uh, this is another film that I've had my eye on for quite some time, and I know that this is part of a, uh, or you can buy a box set that includes this film, um, but for whatever reason, I'm only really drawn to this film out of that collection. If, if, if you feel like I should maybe go uh, with the box set, let me know, but uh, this is a film by Louis Maul. This is My Dinner with Andre, and I'm really interested in this. It, it seems... Uh, or what, what I know about it, it's a very dialogue heavy movie um, and I love those types of films. This is from 1981 uh, with a runtime of 111 minutes um, and yeah really really looking forward to this one. So there's a look at the special features included and I, I'm a huge fan of Wallace Shawn um, and uh, here we have him co-starring with uh, Andre Gregory. And yeah, I, I've always heard such wonderful things over the years about this. And I'm looking forward to finally seeing it. Sorry, I'm not going to give a whole ton of thoughts on these. I'm just going to kind of uh, whip through these since we have a large stack. Um, next up, we have a film written and directed by Barbara Loden. I have watched this uh, very captivating film from 1970, and this is, of course, Wanda. Um, this is a fairly new release from Criterion, I believe, and sorry, I have not been given giving the spine numbers on these. I know a lot of people like to know the, uh, the spine numbers. This is uh, 965, so this is a fairly recent um, release. This is from 1970 with a runtime of 103 minutes. And uh, we get a new di uh, 2K digital restoration on this from uh, the UCLA Film and Television Archive. Uh, the Film Foundation and Gucci with uncom uncompressed mineral soundtrack. All right, and there's the features that you can expect on that. All right, next up we have a... Um, a short form documentary here. This comes in at 56 minutes. This is from 1991 and uh, this is The Inland Sea. And I have watched this on the Criterion channel. It was uh, quite a while ago. It's been at least a year, I wanna say. Maybe it's been less than a year, but I wanna say probably about a year since I've seen this. And uh, look, looking forward to adding this to, to the collection. I'm a huge fan of documentaries and this is more of a uh, travel log, uh, that type of format. Um, but happy to add this. And this one, um, for whatever reason, I guess it's got the shorter runtime and it's a little light on extra features, but uh, this comes in at a lower price point. So during the sale, I think I got this for about $15. Uh, so a, de a very fair asking price on that. Um, and then we have the director approved um, edition here as well with the sticker on the cover. All right, next up we have, uh, speaking of documentaries, we have a double feature here of documentaries from Errol Morris. Um, uh, well, it says here two films by Errol Morris. This is Gates of Heaven and Vernon, Florida. Um, now this comes uh, from a recommendation, I believe Cinema Dave had this on his channel uh, that he had picked it, uh, picked it up for his collection. And I have interest in Errol Morris. Um, I last, uh, last Barnes and Noble sale, I picked up, uh, the thin blue line. Um, I have not had a chance to watch that yet. Um, and then I knew they had this, uh, this set in the collection again, because of cinema Dave, I actually didn't know that it existed in the collection until cinema Dave, um, brought it up. Anyway, so I, I knew that I wanted to pick this up as well, but uh, we have two films. So Gates of Heaven from 1978 has a runtime of 83 minutes and Vernon, Florida from 1981 has a runtime of 56 minutes. 
and then we get uh, new 2K digital restorations on both films and uh, some extra features included there as well. And uh, these, so this does carry two spine numbers with it, uh, spine number 751 and 752. Uh, the Inland Sea uh, was spine number 988. Sorry, I'll do, do my best to remember to give you the spine number from here on out. Um, next up, like I said, I got a, a few films from the 1970s. We have a film from 1978, um, and this is a film by Paul Mazursky, and this is An Unmarried Woman. Um, and I've had, ever since Criterion announced this title, I've had uh, interest in watching it. I love films from the 70s and these uh, kind of self-discovery uh, type films. And so this one deals directly with relationships and with the marriage relationship and maybe the, the uh, dissolving of said relationship. But um, uh, yeah, in, in fact, the next, the next film too is, is from the 70s as well and kind of carries the same interest for me. Um, but yeah, this is uh, 1978, 124 minutes, uh, spine number 1032 and we get a new 4K digital restoration on this and it carries with it some uh, special features on there as well. And I have to say, I love the, the cover design on this one as well. Really, really beautiful uh, cover design on there. All right. And yeah, the other one from the 70s, uh, this is, oh, I, actually this is also from 1978. Um, with a runtime of 88 minutes, this is spine number 1055, and this is Girlfriends. Um, so this is a uh, kind of a New York City story. Uh, this girl, I believe her friend gets engaged to be married. She's trying to make it as a photographer in the big city, and with her friend getting married, um, she's trying to figure out kind of how to make it on her own. Um, and I, and I love these films with kind of the backdrop of the city while you're dealing with these, uh, you know, different relationships, people trying to make it in the big city, accomplish their dreams, that kind of a thing. I love that backdrop to a story being told. And this just immediately grabbed my attention, um, when it was announced by Criterion. So at spine number 1055, this is obviously a, a very recent release and a really nice looking edition. Looks like we get um, a really thick booklet in this one as well. Um, next up, we have a film by Laurie Anderson. This is one, one of those titles that I passed by during the sales and I've had little to no interest in it because I didn't know much about it and I still don't know a whole lot about it, but I have enough interest in it that I, I just went ahead and did the blind purchase on it. Um, this is from 2015, so this is a more recent film. Uh, comes in at 75 minutes, and this is Heart of a Dog. Um, really interesting cover here. Aside from the fact that the way that I'm holding it up makes it look like I have a dog head. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, really, really interesting. I'm, I'm interested to see visually what she does with her work here, and I... I read some just very brief reviews. I just wanted to get just kind of an idea. And she seems to have a really big following and people seem to really, really enjoy her work. And so this is one that I felt very safe doing a blind buy on. Um, and then we get uh, a director approved Blu-ray special edition uh, with a few uh, features on here. There you can see that. Uh, so really excited to dive in on that. Uh, next up, we have a 1980s comedy. This is from 1987, 102 minutes. Oh, sorry, Heart of a Dog. Uh, that was spine number 846. Here we have spine number 1056, and this is Moonstruck with uh, Cher. Um, yeah, excited to see this. I I'm excited to see some of these um, films that maybe... Uh, some people don't think garner a 
kind of a position in the Criterion Collection. I think these types of films are important to have in the collection as well. Um, I understand wanting to have lesser known films and give more exposure to different uh, um, different talent out there and I, I totally understand that but it is nice to have some of these uh, types of titles in the collection as well so anyways uh, we get a new 4k digital restoration approved by director Norman Jewison and you can see here we get a decent amount of extra features there all right and, that, and that's one I've, I've heard about over the years I mean obviously it's a and you know again especially in terms of criterion releases kind of a bigger uh, movie but um, I'm excited to finally be able to watch that uh, next up we have a uh, now I'm gonna butcher this name a film by Ritwick uh, good talk and this is the cloud capped star this is from uh, 1960 this is spine number 993 and uh, this is uh, in Bengali uh, with English subtitles uh, this received a very very sturdy recommendation from Daisuke Beppu um, I remember when it was announced and then on its release um, he has nothing but wonderful things to say about this film and so I, I absolutely trust uh, Daisuke's opinion and so this is one that I needed uh, to add to my collection. Um, we get a 2K digital restoration on this title um, and I don't know if I gave the runtime, so 1960 with a runtime of 127 minutes and this is in black and white. Uh, here are, whoops, there we go, here are the extra features on this title and I don't feel like I need to keep saying I'm very excited to watch this film uh, because I'm excited to watch all of these films uh, next up we have from 1982 this is spine number 738 with Dustin Hoffman a film by Sidney Pollock uh, this is Tootsie um, now this is a film that I have seen and I really really enjoy I've only seen it one time and I watched it via the Criterion channel and I knew that it was one that I needed to add at some point and uh, the sale is a great time to do that uh, so this has a new 4k digital restoration and here are the extra features on this disc I'm um, so really happy uh, to add this one to the collection great great performance by Dustin Hoffman um, next up we have now I believe this is a blu-ray upgrade in fact I know it is yeah this is spine number 360 um, and this is a director approved edition now interesting that I have uh, two blu-ray stickers on this and the funny thing is it's uh, two takes by William Greaves so maybe that's why they <laughs> why they have uh, two two stickers on here but this is uh, symbio psycho taxiplasm say that ten times fast uh, so this is take one from 1968 with a runtime of 75 minutes and take two and a half from 2005 and that's a runtime of 99 uh, yeah 99 minutes um, yeah spine number 360 and this is a director approved blu-ray and here are the special features included um, and from what I understand which is very little uh, do I know about this um, but it's kind of an experimental uh, documentary type film uh, so really looking forward to jumping into this and I like uh, that I'm pretty much going in blind on this um, I know very little about it and that we get again kind of a, a double feature set up here uh, so symbiopsychotaxiplasm taxiplasm all right next up here we have the other uh, Wes Anderson film uh, so this completes uh, my Wes Anderson collection at least within the Criterion collection uh, this is spine number 540 from 2007 this is the Darjeeling limited um, so we get a high definition digital transfer on this one and that's approved of course by director Wes Anderson 
and it's kind of got a pattern here on the back, but I think you should still be able to, maybe, maybe not. There we go. Um, there's the extra features included. And I love the, the design on these Wes Anderson releases from Criterion. Um, now a few of them have the Digipack presentation and then a few have just these standard case um, presentations. But there's always fun inserts included as well. It's always kind of a fun experience um, with the Wes Anderson films in the collection. And uh, yeah, 2007, 91 minutes on that one. All right, next up we have uh, James Kahn in a film directed by Michael Mann. And this is a director approved edition from 1981. Uh, spine number 691, uh, this is Thief. And this is another one that I've had my eye on for quite some time. And I'm really excited to watch this. Uh, yeah, James Kahn, um, I'm a big fan. I, the big performance from him that comes to mind is uh, the adaptation of Stephen King's Misery. I love that film and I'm excited to give this one a chance. Um, and this has a, a new digital restoration from a 4K film transfer of the director's cut and that's approved by Michael Mann. So we do get uh, a few features on there, not too feature heavy here. All right, and now our final standard release here, and then we have uh, just a couple others to look at here. Um, this is Spine number 901, directed by George Cukor, another one of those comedies that I had to add to the collection. And this is a film that I have seen before with the great Cary Grant, Katherine Hepburn, and James Stewart. I don't know how you get a better cast than that. Uh, this is The Philadelphia Story. Um, so 1940 with a runtime of 112 minutes and uh, some decent uh, extra features here actually. So we have a new 4K digital restoration um, and then just to give you an idea here there are quite a few extra features included on this disc and then a uh, sizable booklet inside. Um, okay. So a disclaimer here, these next two, so I've got four more titles to go over here. These next two are re-entering the collection. Um, I've had these uh, before. In fact, I believe I've uh, featured these in videos before, uh, sale halls uh, from the past. Um, and they're films that I really want to give a second chance because I feel like I need to explore them a bit more. Um, because they seem to have such a cult following and I I really want to be sure that I'm giving them their due and I just wanted to pull the trigger on these for the sale. So the first one we have here, um, this is from 1983, uh, directed by, and director approved, um, but directed by David Cronenberg. This is Videodrome. Uh, so 1983 with a runtime of 89 minutes. Um, and this is absolutely packed with extra features. Um, go ahead and give you a look there. In fact, I think this includes another one of uh, another one of Cronenberg's films, um, which I know Scanners, which I do have on my shelf. I love that film. Um, Scanners has a a second film by Cronenberg as well. So this has Camera from 2000, which is a short uh, film by Cronenberg. And then we have Forging the New Flesh, a half hour documentary by filmmaker Michael Lenick about videodromes, uh, video and prosthetic makeup effects. So th there's a lot here that I want to explore and again, just give this film another chance. So I felt like this deserved to come back in the collection, Videodrome. Uh, next up, we have a film by Alex Cox from 1984. I'm sure everybody knows exactly what this is. Uh, this is Repo Man. Um, and yeah, this is one that I've seen a couple of times. And for whatever reason up to this point, um, oh, and I'm sorry. 
Um, so we have spine 248 on Videodrome and then spine 654 on Repo Man. Uh, for whatever reason, this is one that I just, I don't quite get it, um, what the uh, what the big pull is for this film or why it has earned the, uh, the cult following that it has, but I feel like I'm eventually going to get it. <laughs> and then when I, when I get it, I, I just have this feeling that, you know, maybe this edition goes out of print, you know, something like that. Anyways, I wanted to, obviously, because I bought it, I wanted to bring this back into the collection. Um, and this is a director approved Blu-ray special edition with a new restored 2K digital transfer approved by Alex Cox and uh, quite a few more extra features on this one. And I do have to say, aside from the film or anything else, uh, this is one of the best designed Criterion covers out there. I mean, really, really stellar looking cover here. So I'm. I'm really excited to revisit this one and uh, just do a deep dive on the special features on the book included inside and just give it a real uh, a real go, a real second chance. And let me know in the comments with Videodrome and Repo Man specifically, let me know what I'm missing. Let me know your thoughts. If these are films that you enjoy, let me know why. I, I, I like to be as educated as I can on uh, after I watch a film and kind of diving into the extra features and getting to know other people's thoughts. So let me know what you think of these two films, if you do have any thoughts. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to have those back in the collection. Second to last here, we have a, another Digipack release. This is a very recent release, um, a film from 2019. This is spine number 1062. And this is Rolling Thunder Review, a Bob Dylan story by Martin Scorsese. Now this continues the relationship between uh, Criterion and Netflix, um, which now spans a few different films. Um, and if I am thinking correctly, I'm looking over at my collection here. I believe all of the Netflix uh, films through Criterion have, have come in a uh, digipack presentation. Um, I'm thinking Irishman, I'm thinking Marriage Story, um, and then Rolling Thunder. Um, anyways, we get a really beautiful presentation here. Um, I love the cover art on this, and this is director approved by Scorsese. Um, yeah, 2019 with a runtime of 142 minutes. Um, so lengthy presentation here, which is awesome. And we get a new 4K digital master approved by Scorsese. And uh, there's the extra features included. There we go. Focus. And I uh, got the Netflix logo there at the bottom. Um, but yeah, I've got the other. So uh, Don't Look Back is another uh, documentary in the collection about Bob Dylan which I own and absolutely love. If you've not seen that, um, I, I would highly recommend a purchase on that. I, I loved that documentary. And, uh, and of course that features D.A. Pennebaker, one of my favorite uh, documentary filmmakers. Um, but yeah, really excited to get into this. I, I have not watched this, um, but Scorsese and Bob Dylan, that's a no brainer for me. So. Looking forward to diving into Rolling Thunder Review, a Bob Dylan story by Martin Scorsese. Last but not least, we have a box set. So this is the only uh, box set that I got during the sale. And this is one that I've put off for far too long. I've only seen one film in this collection. And so I wanted to just, again, because we have the sale price, I just wanted to commit to the full box set and uh, and see what we've got here. So this is America Lost and Found, the BBS story. Um, so this is an absolutely jam-packed box set, as you can see here, and I know there's a, a ton of people that are familiar with this set, um, because this is not a, uh, this is not a new release from Criterion. 
So it looks like the films on the inside each carry their own spine number. So let's go through this. So we have a uh, head from uh, 1968, directed by Bob uh, Raffleson. That is spine number 544. Next up we have Easy Rider, which is the only film in the collection in this box set that I've seen. Uh, Easy Rider directed by Dennis Hopper from 1969. Next up, we have five easy pieces, uh, spine number 546, and that is uh, also directed by Bob Raffleson. Uh, next up, we have Drive, He Said, and A Safe Place. Uh, so two films on that one, uh, spine numbers 547 and 548. Uh, so we have Drive, He Said, yeah, directed by Jack Nicholson from 1970 with a runtime of 90 minutes, and then A Safe Place, uh, directed by Henry Jaglum uh, from 1971 with a runtime of 92 minutes. And then we have The Last Picture Show, uh, spine number 549. And that's directed by Peter Bogdanovich from 1971 with a runtime of 126 minutes. And that is the only film in this collection that's in black and white. And then finally, we have uh, The King of Marvin Gardens. Uh, spine number 550, and that is directed uh, again by Bob Raffleson, 1972, a runtime of 104 minutes, and that is in color. Um, and then we get a, uh, a book included on the inside as well. Um, yeah, so each of these are uh, restored high definition digital transfers and just to give you an idea of the extra features here. Now, I'm not sure, there might be more extra features uh, per uh, disc, but uh, we get the booklet and then we get, um, yeah, some uh, docu uh, archival documentaries. Um, so I think there's gonna be, yeah, some more extra features on, on each of the individual films. Um, but really excited to finally pull the trigger on this. I'm excited to explore the uh, the work of these different directors, Raffleson, uh, Dennis Hopper, Jack Nicholson, Henry Jaglum, and Peter Bogdanovich. Um, so a, a wide array of directors here and an interesting time in, uh, in filmmaking. Um, and I believe all of the, so all of the films uh, so we have the 60s and 70s, so Head and Easy Rider are from the 60s, and then uh, the other films are from the 1970s. So really looking forward to this, and I, I like the, the design on this box set as well. Um, so really happy to add this to the collection. All right, so that does it. I believe that puts us at uh, 24 titles on this haul. So. Very excited to add all of these to the collection and to start diving in and watching these films. Um, no idea on exactly where I'm going to start, but I'm just really excited uh, to have these. Now, if you're new to this channel and you like this type of content, if you found this helpful or entertaining, um, I invite you to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and finally the bell icon. That will notify you when I upload new videos in the future. And until next time, my name is David and I hope you have an awesome day.